My name is Chase Lewis. I'm a sixth grader from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. The recent famine in Somalia was devastating. Tens of thousands of starving Somalis fled their homes and walked two to three weeks to reach refugee centers where they would be provided with food and water. Even though the Somali famine is over, it will not be the last. The long trek across the desert often was too much. When the children were too weak to walk and the parents could no longer carry them, the children were sometimes left by the roadside to die. Parents can already carry a baby on their back, but they need a way to carry other children who become too weak. What is needed is a simple, inexpensive way to help parents transport their children who are too weak to walk. So I invented a travois with wheels. It is lightweight, inexpensive, and easy to assemble. Travois removes a large portion of the load from the bearer's body. My grandmother, who was the height of an average African woman, 5 feet 2 inches, was easily able to carry my 70 pound sister in the Travois. The proportion of the weight carried by the bearer is the ratio of the distance from the weight to the wheel divided by the total distance between the bearer and the wheel. That means that if the weight is 3 quarters of the weight from the bearer, then the bearer is carrying only 1 quarter of the weight. The Travois frame has to be strongest at the point of maximum bending moment, which corresponds to the place the weight is applied. This is where it is important to use a strong material like a composite of wood and metal. I built this prototype with materials I could easily buy. In production, other materials should be considered to maximize strength, durability, lightness, and cost effectiveness. It is also collapsible. It can be easily packed in the crates, which would be airdropped onto the most used refugee roads. Even though built for refugees, the Trevois could have many other applications. For example, a public health expert in Africa told me it could be used to transport elderly and sick from remote areas to villages with doctors. This truck walk could really save lives. 